And now, from Fox 55 News, this is your local sports. Hey, good evening, everyone. Well, for high school girls basketball teams all across the Hoosier State, the road to Banker's Life begins tonight. The 45th annual state tournament tipping off on Tuesday with several area squads trying to survive and advance the opening round of sectionals. That includes the number four ranked team in Class 3A Norwell drawing a tough Bishop Lures team in the first round of sectional 23 down in Gas City. Lures led by 19 after the first quarter and they're holding strong when we pick it up early in the third. Lydia Reinbold attacking the rack. Moments later, Dory Javins kicks into the corner. She's got faith in the freshman, Sarah Sylvester knocks down the three. That puts Bishop Lures up by 13. But Reinbold and Javins both had to go to the bench with foul trouble, and it was pretty much all Norwell from there. Maya Shelton swishes a triple to cut the deficit to six. A few minutes later, good ball movement leads to a tray ball from Mackenzie Tolliver. That caps a 15-0 run to end the third quarter. Norwell takes the lead and they would never give it back. Shelton salts this one away with the breakaway bucket in the final seconds. She finishes with a team high 29 points. Norwell erases a 19 point deficit to win their first sectional game in three years, 60-53. You can kind of tell they were getting in their head and we just tried to keep our composure as a team. Pretty good at doing that with our chemistry and working together. And we really just grew in our chemistry of this game. And it just helped us, it helped us to succeed, too. We've been in that position before a couple times, just chipping away. There's so much left of the game. And this team has done such a good job of handling adversity, um, whether coming off of a loss or within a game like tonight. We talked about on the way here how important it was for this group, not just our juniors and our sophomores, but our group to win a sectional game. Uh, this is big for us, and um, it does give us a lot of momentum. Uh, we're ready for Friday. Speaking of Friday, the Knights move on to face host Mississinawa in the semis down in Gas City. Back here in the Summit City, sectional 21 at Concordia Woodland taking on Bishop Dwenger. Third quarter, Warriors with the four-point edge. Back come the Saints. Molly Ream the rip. She finds Carissa Wigman in transition. Saints within just a bucket. Next trip down the floor, Maggie Cheever. She's going to hit the turnaround jumper that ties things back up. But then just before the end of the quarter, Alicia McMahon. Three ball, corner pocket is pure. Woodland takes a three-point lead after three. And then in the fourth, Dakota Crone going to roll home the three ball of her own. That puts Woodland up six. Dwenger would make this one interesting, but the Warriors hang on for the one-point win. They'll face Garrett Friday at six. Other side of the bracket, the host Kadets taking on Leo for a spot in the semis. Kadets in control in the second. Shanti's Craig cleans up the Grace head key miss. Game high 13 from her. Concordia goes up 10. Lions not going away to end the half, though. Bethany Peppel peppers home the triple from the corner. And then you're going to see Gabrielle Adams float game strong from the baseline. That cuts the lead down to just five, but Concordia would take control from there. Head key hits the three ball. Cadets go up 12 at half. They win 36 13. They'll face Angola Friday at 7 30. And in sectional 20 up in Lakeland, Central Noble topping Wawasee 54-31. They'll face the host Lakers at 6 on Friday. Northwood topping Tippy Valley 48-39. They'll face West Noble in the nightcap on Friday. To Class 4A, sectional 6 at Southside's Don Riker Gymnasium. Homestead taking on New Haven. And as you can imagine, this one all Sparty. First quarter, Ayanna Patterson bullies her way to the cup for two of her game high 20. Later in the frame, Riley Parker spots hits from distance. She had 19 on 5 of 6 shooting from deep. Homestead goes up 12. And well, it never got better from there for the Bulldogs. Sydney Graber hits the tray ball to put Sparty up 18. They lead 27 to nothing after a quarter of play, 45 to three at half. Spartans cruise to the 83-24 dub. They'll face Columbia City Friday at six o'clock. Staying at Riker Gymnasium, the host Archers taking on Huntington North in the nightcap tonight. Archers up at half, adding to it to start the third. Olivia Smith, beautiful. You're a step to the cup for two of her 12. Archers go up five. Vikings not shying away though. Reese Colclesser. Gets to the bucket off the pump fake, lead down to three. Next possession, Leah Campbell, catch and shoot triple. That ties things up at 22 apiece, but 
It was all south side from there. Jason Jones, speaking of catch and shoot, the future Detroit Mercy Titan had a game high 19. Archers advanced 45-31 the final. They got Wayne Friday at 7.30. In sectional five, up at East Noble Northrop, topping Northside 63-31. They'll face DeKalb on Friday. The host Knights topping Snyder 51-40. They will face Carroll in the nightcap. Last high school stop comes in 1A, sectional 51 at Blackhawk. The host Braves taking on Bethany Christian. BC building on a halftime lead early in the third. Haley Klein hits the long deuce off the inbounds. Braves go up eight. Bruins would come storming back. Mariah Miller with two of her team high 15 that cuts the lead down to just two. But Blackhawk would take care of business tonight. Klein, a game high 18 from her. Three of them coming right here. Braves advance with the 47-40 win. They'll face, face Fremont Friday at 7.30. And in Class 1A, sectional 53, down at North Miami, Northfield, they advanced with a 58 to 36 victory over Southern Wells. They'll face North Miami Friday at 7:30. In Class 2A, sectional 35 at Fairfield, Fairfield topping Prairie Heights 37 to 28, ending the Panthers' season. Sectional 36 at Bluffton, Adams Central winners over Churubusco 56 to 24. They'll face Canterbury Friday at 6 p.m. And in sectional 37 at Lewis Cass, Manchester beating your host, and they will face Wabash Friday at 7.30.